I think you have the uh, best job in the evangelism team. Is that right? You think so? I think so. Yeah, because you are doing gaming evangelism now, right? Yeah, I am. Yeah. So what what does that mean? So um, beginning this year, we actually started a new team, which is uh, called Gaming Evangelism, and we are focusing on games. And uh, right now, the team is uh, formed by people like Lee Brimlow, Mike Jones, Enrique Duvos, and me. And we're basically playing the games. What is Adobe doing um, to make uh, building games using the Flash platform easier? Yeah, so first of all, last week we have launched uh, Molehill, uh, which is uh, basically the new API, the new 3D API for Flash Player. And it enables you to build like completely GPU accelerated games for the web. So let's see, what, what do you think are the biggest challenges for people that are building games today? Yeah so, one of the, yeah, so definitely there are many challenges. When I started building games, it was like, oh my god, this is a completely different world because I was coming from the streaming world and flex up world, you know, and right now you have to deal with graphic rendering, physics, you have to deal with uh, real-time communication, you have to deal with really so many things like artificial intelligence, for instance, big topic. You know. Um, what are the challenges today for building games? Uh, well, one of the biggest challenges I think we uh, designing games and developing with them is, is sort of like over designing the game. Uh, it's so easy to do. Do you think um, the uh, Adobe platform is actually helping with that now? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, obviously the the whole debacle with Apple uh, <laughs> last year didn't help matters. Um, but now it seems that they're allowing uh, Adobe Flash or uh, Air to actually be um, used as a development tool for iPhone or iOS. And uh, yeah, I mean, I think you know Unity has been doing this for a while, and that's really been helpful too. I mean, it's a fantastic platform for uh, deploying uh, to uh, all of these different things. And now they've just announced that they're going to be supporting Flash in a browser too, uh, yeah. the new Molehill um, build, which I think is going to be amazing because Unity is a really fantastic uh, game development tool. The talk of the town seems to be HTML5 these days. Have you done anything with that? Yeah, we've been playing around with HTML5. I, I think it's it's cool for a lot of stuff. It's certainly not as flexible um, as Flash, uh, especially now with the 3D stuff coming out. I mean, the thing that kills me about that is that people think HTML5 is a replacement for Flash, and it really isn't. It, it's it's sure it's replacing some of the stuff that Flash was really good at before, which HTML couldn't do on its own. But now it's kind of like. You know, Flash, I, I would assume you guys are not going to just stop and say, all right, this is it, this is our pl player, and we're not going to add any new features. So they're always going to be playing kind of catch up with that.